Hi, this is the Balkan Architect and in today's video I will be showing you how can you set up a perspective or a 3D floor plan in Revit. So this is just an old project I did for school about a year ago and I'm going to show you how can you cut this model and create a camera that looks down and creates a floor plan. But before we get started I would like to ask you to like this video, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make daily Revit tutorials. Okay, so let's get started. I'm here in Revit. This is the model I'll be using. So I'll go to the first floor where our floor plan actually is. This is the apartment that I want to create a floor plan of, but you can create a floor plan that includes the whole building. So this is the apartment and I'm just going to go here to this drop menu and create a camera. Now you can place the camera basically wherever you want. You don't have to be all that precise because you will change this. So I'm just going to pull it out like this. And now once the camera is placed, we need to orient it to our floor plan. So I'm just going to go to this cube over here and go right click, open this orient to view drop menu, find floor plans. And now we find the floor plan that we'll be using. So I'll be using this one. Okay, now you probably can't really see anything and that's okay. So I'm just going to go back to floor plan and you can see our camera is way over here. So you need to place it basically at the center of your floor plan and leave it there. So now we can scroll down, that is view number 9. Let's just rename it to, I don't know, 3D floor plan. Okay, so once that is completed, we need to cut the actual model so we can see our floor plan. And to do so, you need to go to the properties bar and find section box. So under extends you find section box and you check it. And you will get this box up here and you need to select it and you need to go to an elevation so you can set up basically the height of the section. So this is the section box now we're just going to lower it to cut here at first floor and I like to leave it a bit higher. I like it to cut the walls at a bit higher so that looks about right. So I'm going to go back to our floor plan or our 3D floor plan. And there you go. Now you can set up this basically crop view to make it look like whatever you want it to look like. And of course later I suggest you export this or you render it and then put it in Photoshop and just crop it and rotate it into position. Okay that's pretty much it for this floor plan in 3D floor plan in Revit tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video. If you have any questions, comments or suggestions for future tutorials, I suggest you leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.